What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 22 23 Panini Contenders Basketball just sold out. This is a six box half case break. Pick your teams number one. And again, guys, a little bit new configuration. Still two autographs like normal, but now there's only four packs a box with eight cards. So they got rid of a lot of base cards. And I will say, we did get a little preview with a little pack filler earlier to sell this breakout. It's pretty nice, guys. Really love this uh, product. And uh, like I said, if you have a character sign at the end of your name, that means you won that from a team random pack filler. Everybody else bought in straight up, so appreciate it. So again, guys, we have another pack filler up on the website to help sell out. Contenders number two. Pretty much the same teams, including the Thunder, are also in that pack filler. So, uh, if you guys want to get it going, we can definitely do the next one right after this. And boxes are stuck. There they are. All right, just like normal, guys, like always, left or right to see which six boxes we use on this side. And uh, one, two, three for the left, four, five, six for the right. And it's a two, so one, two, three. So we're going to do this half later, hopefully, uh, with me for contenders number two. So here we go, guys. Kind of excited. And only four packs now, guys. Only four packs. All right, here we go. Got a first round ticket to 199. De'Aaron Fox. Couple inserts. Couple season tickets there. And then we got a playoff ticket, Cole Anthony. And there's Jalen Williams. He's been moving up the ladder for Rookie of the Year voting. J-Dub. All right, and then you should have two autographs. First one is Ogbaji. Or right, what the hell? No autograph? Is that, is that supposed to be the way it's supposed to be? Or am I tripping? Jeremy Sochan. Okay. I didn't miss an autograph, did I? Alright, well. That's weird. This one better have an autograph. Because if not, then we're missing two. What the hell? Oh, there's one. Jabari Walker to 99. Oh, why is this one didn't have an autograph? It says variation, but it doesn't have an auto. Let me make sure I didn't read that right. It's supposed to have two autographs, right? Yeah, it says box break has two autographs, ten inserts, or parallel or variations. Maybe we'll find an extra autograph in another box then, because sometimes that does happen. LeBron James. It does happen, but I think usually if they miss an autograph, there's usually one maybe hiding in another box. So I guess we'll have to see if that one ends up being in the second box. <laughs> But that was interesting. Yeah, I mean, it happens, but most of the time it's just hiding in another box, so hopefully that is the case. Well, it doesn't say. It doesn't say that it's in place of it, so we must have got shorted, but it could be still here. It just might be in another box. There's obviously. There's obviously an opportunity for that still. Jabari Smith. Yeah, I think we were shorter for sure, but 
It could still be hiding in another box. You never know. Playoff ticket, Devonta Sabonis to 249. Jalen Duran. Anthony Davis insert. Alright, well hopefully hopefully yeah, that's not like that all the time. So yeah, Riffer says saw enough breaks for this in the morning, okay. LeBron James, and then here's another one out of 49. Finals ticket of Tyrese Martin. I will say the the autographs do look pretty nice though. They look uh, pretty sharp. Scotty Barnes. It's a variation. Jaden Ivey, LeBron, Rondo, and then we got a Shaden Sharp, a little rookie ticket for the Portland Trail Blazers. Blazers going to Dan. All right, let's go to the third box now. Devin Booker to 199. LeBron James season ticket. Out of 49, Mike Conley finals ticket for Utah. Ticket of Jovic. Tari Eason for the Rockets, rookie ticket. That's a variation. Rockets, that is uh, Matthew. And then we got Patrick Baldwin. Junior rookie ticket for the Golden State Warriors. Larry with that one. Ticket DeAndre Ayton. Sadiq Bay. We have a CJ McCollum to ninety nine. Semi final ticket. Yeah, contenders is all about the rookie tickets, chat. That's pretty much it. Uh, obviously, you want to get like cracked eyes and the other color variations, numbered ones. But yeah, contenders has always been about the rookie ticket. Contenders is a big product and staple in the hobby, Chad. So when it comes down to rookie cards, this is probably one of the top rookies that people have in their collection is rookie tickets. Especially if you can get like a cracked eyes, a finals ticket, a championship ticket, etc. These are big, big hits. Um, but, uh,. There is those, do they still put those? I was going to say, do they still have a license to dominate and those permits to dominate interest? Do they still have those? Caleb, Houston. The autographs, yeah. As, here, I'll show you an example. So this was a playoff ticket, number 299. Obviously, these are base ones. But yeah, there's numbered ones. Marjan, 
View champ. Rookie ticket. And contenders autographs to 99. That's Keldon Johnson. Ben with the San Antonio Spurs. But yeah, no, contenders is a really good product. It's just, it's kind of tough to hit. There's only two autos, but again, in the draft class, there's only, obviously, two rounds in the NBA, so kind of makes sense. But it's a, it's a very, very good product in the hobby, man. It's a really, really good product. But uh, you really obviously want numbered ones. But at the end of the day, even rookie tickets like this, if they grade like a PSA 10, they sell extremely, extremely well. Well, maybe you only forgot to put some in the first couple boxes, Chad. We still have two left. We'll play to the whistle and then we'll see how it goes. <laughs> But again, if we don't pull nothing massive for any of those teams that are in the the filler, especially at the Thunder, there could be some massive stuff in the second half, guys. You never know. You got to figure that they're going to put some pretty big names in the case. So there's definitely chances of that with the second filler. Oh, we got an Isaiah Mobley variation ticket. Let's get something nice here. Ooh, there we go. Permit to dominate. Jabari Smith Jr. Houston Rockets. EJ Liddell rookie ticket. It's like a premium little contenders optic preview. Last one here, and then we'll go to the next box. Number Jermaine Grant and Jovic for the Miami Heat. Last box here, guys. All right, last box here, guys. Again, obviously, if there's nothing crazy pulling this last box. There's definitely going to be some nice stuff in the second half, so let's get that next pack filler rolling. Would love to see what the second half has, guys. Out of 49, Devin Vassell. LeBron James, Superstar Die Cut. Zion to 199. Jaden Ivey. Alright guys, last two here. Here we go. Trevor Kells for the Knicks. That's a variation rookie ticket. So they go chat on the board. Ooh, we got a redemption. Yeah. <laughs> rookie variation season ticket premium. Edition gold. Holy shnikes. There is no checklist, so technically I have no idea who that could be. Save that. That's a gold out of 10. There's Chet Holmgren. Lottery ticket. 
And then a legendary. Ooh, that must be a big name, guys. Because if they're going to put a Walt Frazier autograph in here, that's a big name. <laughs> uh, no, everything ships out of this, Kyle. I believe so. Oh, actually, sorry. It says no veteran common ship. I guess not. I can ask Nick, though, because actually there's really not that many cards, but they look really nice, though. Maybe we can change that, but it does say no veteran common ship, so I guess if we can't change that, then it did say that in the item description beforehand. But I'll ask and see. Or maybe you guys can DM, of course. If you guys make enough ruckus, maybe we will do it. All right, here we go. Car number 133. Starts with a B. Blake. Blake Wesley. Blake Wesley. Why doesn't that name ring a bell? Am I just tripping? He's a first round pick for the San Antonio Spurs played at Notre Dame. First round pick 25th overall. So yeah, that's probably why. Looks like he's playing in the in the G League right now. Well, actually no, he's on the Spurs, but Oh. He got injured, actually. So it looks like it says right here, selected 25th overall in his summer league debut. Wesley scored 25 points, 5 assists. On July 5th, uh, signed a rookie-scale contract with the Spurs. Made his NBA debut August 28th. Or, sorry, October 28th. Scored 10 points, 4 assists, and a win against the Bulls. But it says two days later in his second career game, Wesley tore his left MCL when he collided with Jaden McDaniels during the second quarter. Wesley was assigned to the Austin Spurs on December 16th. And returned to the game action less than seven weeks after his injury, scoring 12 points uh, in 112 loss, 102 to the Capitans de uh, Ciudad de Mexico. So, yeah, it looks like he got injured uh, in his second career game and then had to be sent down for his injury. So, obviously, I mean, this guy is still super young, obviously. He's only just turned, he was 19 years old, actually, when he made his debut. He just turned 20. So yeah, think of a redshirt guy, if, if anything. But that is true, though. I mean, they, they do have a they do have an act for getting these guys uh, ready down the line. But yeah, it looks like he uh, he got injured early in his rookie year, so didn't get to play too much. But that is out of ten, and it is a spur, which was part of the team pack filler going to Ben. I guess. I mean. Basketball might be a little different, Gila. I don't know, Puma. But yeah, MCL seems like a much more worse injury, right? But it's still a nice card, guys. And again, like I said, these guys are super young. We can't count them out just yet. Yeah, no, Kyle. I'm going to see if I can vouch for it. But I would I would have some of you guys actually ask, hey, since there's not many cards, is there a possibility that we can check it these shipped? I mean... Worst thing we're going to say is sorry we can't because we already factored it in to not ship it. But uh, like I said, the cards do really nice and obviously would love to have that. But it did say it in the item description already. So obviously if we don't, then it, it kind of was already there for you guys. But uh, yeah, I appreciate it, man. So yeah, guys, this is some nice stuff. I was hoping for a bigger name in the sense that maybe a guy that was playing this year. But it seems like he did. He just got injured early in his career. I mean, that happens. Chet Holmgren, of course, hasn't played, but he's a big time player. But again, uh, there's definitely opportunity to get some nice hits in the second half, to get some big names. I don't think we hit any of the top five, type, top six names. So definitely, uh, definitely have an opportunity to uh, to uh, get some more hits in the next one, guys. So the next one's in a pack filler already. If you guys want to get that one rolling, jazbeescasebreaks.com. It's at 19 left. I think we can easily do it, guys. Appreciate it, folks. jazbeescasebreaks.com.